Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I come before thee, Lord God, I magnify and I rejoice in thee. Lord, I give praise, glory, and honor unto your holy name. Once again, Lord, I magnify, oh God, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that's above every name, oh God. Once again, Lord God of hosts, creator of heaven and earth, I stand on our street corner. Once again, Lord God of hosts, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up the Bahama Islands before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, Lord God of hosts, I ask you to look upon us in your mercy, in your love, oh Father, in your forgiveness, Lord God of hosts, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I stand, oh God, in intercession, oh God, for the islands of the Bahamas and for the Bahamian people, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God of hosts, I call upon you, upon you once again. I call upon the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I activate your holy kingdom, oh God, on earth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I ask you, Lord God of hosts, the open portals of glory, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God of hosts, creator of heaven and earth, once again, I call upon you, oh Lord God, that liveth and reigneth forever and ever. Once again, I ask you, Lord God of hosts, to turn your eyes and cause your face to shine upon the islands of the Bahamas, because thou art a great and mighty God, Father, oh God, never the Father. I thank you that once again that you are God. Father, once you show divine favor, once you say yes, no man can say no. Father, I thank you right now, oh Lord God, that your promises, oh God, forever will stand. I thank you that you say that you know, oh God, will never revoke your anointing. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for all your men and anointed women of God that still live in this Bahama land, I ask you once again to pour your blessings, pour your, oh God, your holiness, your righteousness, pour your divine favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ upon the islands of the Bahamas. Father, once again, I declare that Jesus is Lord of the Bahama land. Once again, I declare that this is the place where God lives, oh God, where you reign and your name is magnified night and day, oh God. Oh, heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, Jesus Christ, once again, I activate, oh God, your holy angels. I ask you to arm them, oh God, with, oh, oh God, weapons of victory in the name of Jesus Christ to go out, oh God, and fight against the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus again name of Jesus Christ. Once again, Lord God of hosts, I pull down every stronghold, every power, oh God of darkness, and command them to be subject to the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, I call upon the name, oh God, heaven of Father, that, oh God, heaven of Father, demons must tremble at. I call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that name, Lord God, that's all powerful and almighty, and I command the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ to be in mobilized now in Jesus name I come against spiritual wickedness in high places in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I will release warring angels to fight against every stronghold every power every witchcraft oh God demonic oh God oh father oh God never the father oh, that's at work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every higher demon power that fight against me oh God this day and against the people of God I rebuke and I bind in the name of your son Jesus Christ because you said that the gates of hell will never prevail against your church. Oh, Lord God of hosts, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor, Lord God. I magnify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that liveth and reigneth forever and ever. Father, I exercise the authority that you've given, oh God, through the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I call Satan in remembrance of the work that was done on Calvary Cross, how he was still God defeated and when Jesus died and he rose again and ascended on high and led captivity free. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that Satan, oh God, oh God, will let his captives free, those that he have in bondage and in sin and in enslavement through the power of your spirit, that you release your gospel, oh God, through your men and women of God and bring freedom, oh God, to the enslaved souls, oh God, that Satan, oh God, never the Father has bound in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you send, oh God, God's salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Spirit of the living God, rise up in your might and your power in the name of Jesus Christ and fight, I pray, for the souls of men that are on their way to hell. I stand and intercede, saying the blood of Jesus Christ is against you, saying the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is 
destroys your work and destroy your plan and pull down your strongholds this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I ask you that you will scatter the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that your angels now will excel in strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and will go into the air, into the atmosphere and chain and guide every demonic power that's, oh God, that's trying to hinder this prayer right now now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray that you will clear the air within a thousand miles radius of your child right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that your holy angels will chain and guide every demon power oh God and cast them into outer darkness release your thunderbolt oh God your hours of deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ arise Lord God of hosts and let the enemy be scattered right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father I come against every spiritual attack Oh God, that Satan will seek to launch at your child. I rebuke and I bind it. Every witchcraft sent my way. I reverse and send it back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and bind it to them by the power and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I blow up, oh God, and undam all their walls of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of the living God, creator of heaven and earth, I thank you that you are mighty to save and strong to deliver. I thank you, Lord God of host and we are victorious through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ Father creator of heaven and earth I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will surround your child right now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that the power oh God of the Holy Spirit will go forth oh God in Jesus name and scatter every foe right now in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you Lord God in the mighty name of your son Jesus Christ because victory belonged unto you oh Lord God of hosts I give glory I give honor and I give praise unto you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I just like to say, people of God, stay strong. Yes, the enemy will attack you, especially when you're fighting against his kingdom, especially when you're doing warfare prayer. But stand strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Remember, Jesus said that the gates of hell will never prevail against his church or against the people of God. Continue to pray, continue to warfare, continue to stand strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed and filled with the spirit of the almighty God. Be clothed in the light of the almighty God. In Jesus' name, be blessed, my brothers and sisters, especially in the Bahama land and all over the world in Africa and other countries in the U.S. that watch these prayers be blessed. Continue to warfare. Pray without ceasing. Jesus said that man ought always to pray and not to faint. Continue to trouble the throne of grace. Continue to warfare against the enemy. Pull down his strongholds. Go forth in the power and the might of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.